Hey guys, McJeffries here and welcome to That's right guys, we are back, we are here in the city of Springfield and changes are happening. We have some radical changes. First of all, um, the update, the big update that everyone's been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for, hopefully you guys have been waiting for it too. Uh, and it's basically arrived, we have it. Let me show you. So over here, I don't know whether this is a mod or not actually, I've seen this in other videos, um, but I've got the same mods as them, so I really don't know if it's part of that or not. But this is um recall mod. Can't actually select any of these rows, but these ones here I can. Uh although these ones here I need to actually change. Again, so we get rid of that, get rid of that. The rest of these roads A okay. Right, I have found something else about this update which is a little bit strange. Before I get into what's actually in this update, and let me talk about something that's not in this update, or at least something that's disappeared since this update. Um, buses have disappeared, and I cannot tell you for the life of me where they are. I haven't seen a single one since. Originally, they were all sort of stuck where they'd been placed. So there was one blocking this intersection from the last time I saved the game. Um, and they weren't moving anywhere. So I redid all the bus lines, I took out the bus depot and relocated that. All the buses disappeared, but as of yet, none have actually reappeared, despite the fact that this bus depot here tells me that there are 48 buses in use in the city. I haven't seen a single one of them, and they're all supposed to go via this terminal here. So if anyone else has had that problem, and they know what the solution is, please feel free to tell me, because that's a real annoyance that it's disappeared. Um, but the good sign and the good thing is this. We have tunnels in this game now which is fantastic and I've used it to build this railway system. Now this railway system is now operational. Um, let me just check something. Yeah, that's cool. And another mod that I found, hopefully I can find one because it's to do with this railway system. Here it is. A new type of train. This train I like a lot. Uh, I mentioned this in my Cities in Motion video on From Wednesday, but I'm going to say it in here as well. I've recently come back from Amsterdam, um, and Dutch Railways, they have a lot of trains like this, where push-pull with a locomotive, and also I think these are double-decker carriages, which is exactly what you get in the Netherlands as well. Most of mainland Europe actually has double-decker trains. England seems to be the only country in Europe that doesn't have double-decker trains, which is quite annoying. Um, but yeah, this, this is really nice, and we've got this little route planned out. We've got trains that swing around. This whole route is called the Springfield Loop. It starts here at Springfield Central. Uh, it goes through the middle of the highway here. It then hops over here to Manor Industrial Estate, which I need to uh, capitalise that I. There we go. Which is named after the area that it serves, which is the Manor Industrial Estate. All of this had to be rebuilt as well because of power problems, which again I think is part of the update. For some reason these now need fuel. Um, to actually keep them going and we don't seem to have that so I think it's probably actually a good idea if I just get rid of these and if I get rid of these two up here as well hopefully these three power plants here, these solar arrays will be enough to actually uh, to look after this area it should be, I can't see why it wouldn't be so over time this is slowly going to build up again um, but yes, as, we're t as I was saying, train leaves here heads north again into this part of the city uh, hits this triangle junction here. Eventually the freeway will pass underneath, so I'll have to rebuild this track. But for now we've just got this triangle junction, uh, which then leads to this triangle junction, which, in this case, for the Springfield Loop, the trains head south and stop at this station here, Pine Hills, which is named after this district, which runs... quite It's quite a big district, actually. It runs all the way down to this junction here. So it goes all the way from there down to here. This area hasn't been built on yet, and I haven't decided what's actually going to go in here. Um, not decided on that one yet. But yeah, from Pine Hills, 
Train makes one last stop down here at Coleridge Heights, again named after the area that it serves. Just about fits into to Coleridge Heights. Uh, although having said that, Coleridge Heights is quite big. Sterling Park is the other big area. Sterling Park used to come across here, now it's Coleridge Heights. That's right, I get confused sometimes. And in fact, I might make Coleridge Heights as far as this road here. Whoops. Let's try that again. Oh, I hate it when it overlaps. Oh, that's why. Definitely going to try that again. Because it started a brand new district in this gap. Evergreen Hills it built. There we go. Scrap that. Okay, so Coleridge Heights now extends a little bit further south than it used to, but there's a bit of a turf war going on here between these districts. It's difficult because you want to make a road a boundary between districts, but when you actually come to do it, it's either one or the other. There's no in-between. Um, so it really is up to you as to, to where these districts go, but at the same time, you want to kind of get them right. But yeah, that's that done. Today's episode, we're going to buy this bit of land here. Um, and we're going to start making something out of it. I wanted to go south a little bit more, but I think actually, beneficially wise, this is going to be the best one. Because I'm actually going to curve this freeway now and join it up to this freeway here. So the best way of doing that is to delete all of this bit of road. Just get rid of the lot, all of that. And build a massive intersection which hopefully I have. This one's quite big. It's got a railway running through the middle of it actually, which we don't want. Um, just try that again. See, a lot of these are big and really good. Like this one would be fantastic. Apart from the fact that just there's no real use for it. I don't think I'd get a decent use for that anyway. Maybe I would. <laughs> but not on a, a main road like this. Right, uh, I actually want a freeway to freeway interchange, which I should have one of. No, nope, that's a roundabout. Try that again. Wrong, wrong. I don't want to use this one. Um, I'd rather not use one with small... Well, I have to build my own at this rate. That one's not very good. This one is... Actually, this one's good. I think this one's called the turbine interchange. This could be a good shout. Let's try it. So we've got to connect these up. So we're going to connect that one like that. We're going to connect that one like that. Um, that one can just go like that. The rest of these roads I'll upgrade in a second. Let's, uh, let's delete that for a second as well. And we're going to have to delete these rail bridges to actually put this road in. Let's see, we want that like that, and then that like that. There we go, and then I'm just going to build this one freehand, I think. Maybe to there, and then I'm going to build it curved. Like so, there we go. So that's all connected up now, we should have traffic starting to flow around all of it and just connect everything up and be really nice and lovely that's the plan whether it happens who knows sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't it really does depend on uh, whether your citizens actually like what you've done or not a lot of the time actually they are big fans of what I do um, it's only once or twice that they're not really keen one of my big projects which I really like in this city which I'll show you guys in a second is actually something to do with the new update it's the tunnel that I've built and the way that that now connects up with the new I say new, it was there in the last episode, but the uh, the hub station uh, which is now called Springfield Central as you might have seen at the start of this episode, I've really messed that up I've actually really messed this up just in general because that kink is in totally the wrong place that's better 
Is it just that? It's just that bit that doesn't want to connect. Come on, bridge. Work for me. There. No, still doesn't want to know. All right, I'm going to build this other side. I'm going to build this side first. Let's do this side first, and then I'm going to build, rebuild this. There. And now that doesn't work. I had it working just now. What have I done? I've really messed this up. Let's see if I could just... Uh, if I just build that like that. I can get one in like that. Can I get this side in? No. Oh, hang on. Yes to that side. Yes to that side. And yes, there we go. Fair enough. It's done. And as you can see, we've now got vehicles actually starting to use um, this part of the, the freeway. I'm going to upgrade these roads quickly here. Just to make sure that um, traffic noise is kept to a minimum. I don't actually know if this has any impact on the really built up parts of my city. But I'd like to think that at least trying to do it now would make a, a difference to the rest of my city because if people are genuinely put off by the noise I'd rather that it was dealt with now than at a later date. This also means I can extend this all the way along and eventually we're going to have some more um, freeway intersections but I'm not going to worry about that in today's episode. I'm probably not going to worry about that for a little while actually because traffic is a little bit of a pain right now but I'd like to try and deal with it through mass transit rather than rebuilding of roads. Um, so for now at least it's it's not going to be that big an issue. One thing I have done, which I need to actually extend now that I've done this, uh, these roads here have got a speed limit of 140. The outer roads, whoops, the outer roads here have a speed limit of 80. So the plan is, if you're not turning off, you can go 140, and that's to stop vehicles from using the uh, the fast lane unless they absolutely have to. Sorry, it's stop you from using the slow lanes, the turn off lanes unless they absolutely have to because it, the theory then is that you actually go faster by staying where you are right uh... yeah they're all eighty that's fine i'd rather they went slow and steady around those curves and then sped right up again as they hit the main road are all these are hundred and forty no these are hundred alright i'm gonna leave those as they are for now um, this one here i think is all hundred as well so it's just this bit here where they can really scoot along although again I mean I can show you the differences that's 140 and that one's 80 but you don't really notice the difference when you see them driving along you don't really see maybe there's a little bit of overtaking going on oh yeah here there's some overtaking going on but actually the the, the real way of noticing is to check uh, one of these signs I can't even see the signs properly. That says 40. But I know that's not 40 because I changed it myself to 80. So that's not really working. Uh, we got some traffic problems here. I built this new link here to try and make it a little bit easier. Um, I'm also trying to get used to the new junction interface. So let me show you what it does. This one here you can turn left. Uh, this one here you will turn right. Uh, let's just say this one here you'll turn left. In fact, hang on let me try that again. This one here you'll only turn into that lane. This one you'll turn into that lane or you'll go straight ahead. And this one you'll go straight ahead. This lane here you'll turn right into either of these and then this lane here you'll go straight across into one of those lanes. And that's basically how it works now. You can see the arrows have now changed to meet what I've just said I want it to do. This one's the same. This lane, turn left only. This one, we want just to go straight ahead. And this one, we want to go just straight ahead. Um, this one, we want right turn only. And this one, we want straight ahead. 
And then this one we want uh, left turn only, and this one we want right turn only. And again, that's just to stop vehicles getting in each other's way. I have actually been around all of these junctions and made sure that they're all set up properly so that this lane here, if you turn left, it only takes you into this lane, and then if you turn right, um, it's to try and get the traffic to sort of split a bit more. It doesn't always work. Sometimes vehicles wait until the last second before they actually decide which direction they're going in and then to split. can be a bit of a pain in the neck sometimes, but ugh, it's out of my control at that point. The game's given me as, as much as I can have to help, um, and it, if that doesn't work after that, then I'm stumped, to be honest. Right, this one is here as well, I think, actually needs changing now. I keep going for that, because I keep going for lane change. It's not. It's this now. Yes, this one definitely needs changing. So this one is going to be uh, that lane and that lane. Uh, this one is going to be that lane, that lane, and that lane. And this one is going to be that lane and that lane. And that should just make sure that all these vehicles are going where they should be going. This one you can see I've already got set up. So this one's left turn only. These two are straight ahead. Uh, these are already done from last episode in the old system. So that's not a problem. Hardly any of this has been rebuilt. In fact, none of this has been rebuilt. See, vehicles are still managing to move along under their own steam, which is fantastic. We've got a really nice traffic flow going on. We have still got this little give way thing, um, which as the traffic builds up will become a problem, but I'm hoping to increase capacity and increase lanes to stop that from happening. Right, this freeway here is going to end up extending and scooting around this lake. Um, we're going to have another arm of it, which might actually end up breaking off another interchange here. Because this is the center of the city here, and we're going to have all the squares outside it. So there's all these different freeways that we're going to end up linking to. This one up here, we're not going to link to. That's out of our jurisdiction. But definitely around the lake, we're going to focus. Uh, actually, no, we can't reach around the lake now, unless I change this slightly. I'll have to come back to that then. That's going to annoy me. But I want to come south so I can sort out this junction, because it is starting to drive me up the wall a little bit. I tried adding priority signs, and it wasn't really working. Um, vehicles just keep getting in each other's way, and it becomes a real logistical nightmare. And I can't even downgrade this lane, because it's out of city limits. So there's, there's next to nothing I can do unless I upgrade. Sorry, unless I buy this land. Um, but I do like to think that by buying this section and building this, some more of the traffic will come in from the north than normal, which would make things better. Might actually replace that as a, a raised section. It's all about raising the track now. The buildings around the raised track have actually sprung up quite nicely. These ones aren't. Um, remember, in the last episode, I built this, the construction building. It's, it is just a construction building. It's, it's basically like a park. All of these buildings are actually ones that the city themselves have built. And we're starting to get some really nice tall buildings. Um, a lot of these are mods that I've downloaded, but they're nice tall buildings. And we're starting to get a real finance district starting to spring up, which is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. That's why I've put all this office and commercial space where I have, especially around here in Corridge Heights. That will eventually spring up over time. Uh, we do need to entice more passengers to use the railway, and we need to sort out this bus network because it's starting to... Uh, irritate me somewhat that we just haven't got buses. We've got loads of pedestrians walking around here, and we've got loads of them coming in and out of the metro, which is providing. Just haven't got buses to take them on. So again, if anyone's watching this and they know where the buses have gone, please let me know. I would very much like to get my buses back. Um, and yeah, just, just have my buses back basically. That's all I want right now is to have my buses back. And I'm going to keep saying buses back until my buses actually come back. So someone help me get my buses back. Apart from that, I am thrilled with how well this city is going. It is starting to look really, really nice indeed. One thing I would still change is maybe open up a little bit more space here for the track to pass through. Because um, we've got this little ugly double slope. And it does kind of ruin it slightly. And I don't want to put level crossings on these main roads for obvious reasons. So overall, apart from that, it's looking good. Oh, I need to alleviate traffic on this junction as well. Um, 
but that should hopefully be something that, that becomes easier over time. Actually, I think one of the problems is... Oh, it has got traffic lights. Hmm. Don't really know what's wrong with that one, then. We've got traffic lights, so they should be traffic controlled, but for some reason they're not. Um, the other option I have is to make some of these streets one way and maybe force them to use this south intersection. But even then... Um, becomes a bit of a pain. I suppose I could lower the speed limit on this bridge. So let's see, what's it? It's currently 60. Let's say I made it less than 60. Let's say I made it like 30. So all across this bridge. And down this side. Let's say I, I halved the speed limit, made it 30 instead of 60. Let's see if that makes a difference. It starts making them head south, because this is all a one-way street. And apart from these traffic lights, which I can actually get rid of, this is all just a one-way street. All the way down here, all the way down here, as far as this, which has no traffic lights on it, because the idea is... Um, in fact, I need to fix this as well. The idea is you turn into one of these lanes. So that one's these two, that one is these two, and that one, come on, is these two. Like so. And this one is this and this, and this one is this and this. There you go. Um, and then these ones should sort of sort themselves out. Did I put that one in properly? I don't think I did. Oh, I did. Yeah. Springs out there. Cool. So that's that sorted. Um, this I need to do as well. Just to make sure that one is the only one that turns left. Same here. That one is the only one that turns left. And the last one here. That one. Left turn only. So that should get vehicles using this road more. And not be using the entrance way here. The only option then is uh, for when they come into this area, they're then going to have to head round this way and up this street, which might make this street a little bit busy, but it hasn't got traffic lights on the intersections, so that, so that should cancel each other out. But definitely lowering the speed here might even reduce flow coming off this uh, this freeway, but something had to be done because it was starting to get a bit ridiculous. But overall, this city's starting to look really, really cool. We've passed 40,000 people, which means we've unlocked the nuclear power... nuclear... I can't speak today nuclear power plant as well which is fantastic um, I'm actually going to show you how the bus isn't working again if I put another bus depot down see even this one is it starting to say this bus is being used this one says 48 buses being used but if I open up the travel panel and just go into buses you can't see them they're nowhere to be seen you just can't see them and you know, that does confuse me. You can see the metro trains, no problem. You can see where the bus lines are, you just can't see any vehicles on them. Which is really weird. So, again, if you know what the problem is, just drop a comment, let me know. Um, very much appreciated if anyone can help me with that problem, because I could really use my buses back, considering my whole transit network is designed around buses complementing everything else. So if one side of it falls down, which in this case is the bus, then everything that relies on it, i.e. everything, um, it just becomes really rubbish, basically. So anyone who can help me out, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. But until next time, I'm going to build this bridge over here very quickly so that people can use this bridge instead of um, walking down the pathway still. I'll just cross that over like that as well. also means the officers only spring up on this part of the road here. Um, shall I connect that over actually? No, I'll, I'll let them use the crossing. Because there's no vehicles they're blocking off at the moment anyway, so what difference does it make? Something else which I did actually, which uh, doesn't seem to have had any effect, was I changed these roads so that civilian cars couldn't use them, but for some reason they are still using them. I'm going to do the same on this side. But I must just do the same with all of these roads here. And this is one thing I do find quite cool actually, is you can select all these roads 
Um, I haven't tried a click and drag thing yet because um, I don't want to, to risk messing everything up if I can absolutely help it. So for now at least I'm just going to do it like this. Like so. And then I'm going to do these two little bits here and these two little bits here. Whoops. And then turn off that one. Turn off that one. So garbage can still come down here. Um, pretty much everything can come down here apart from um, civilian cars, that's the one. And vans, obviously. You don't want them coming down here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're pretty much done for the day then, guys. So, this is Friday's episode. Wednesday's episode did go out in the end, although it was a little bit late. I mentioned that mainly in my Cities in Motion um, videos. Network problems are always a bane of my life. But we get over them. That's the main thing. It's not how hard you can hit, it's how hard you can get hit, blah blah blah, Rocky Balboa, I think that's from. But anyway, um, yeah, City's looking good. I'm going to say that one last time, City is looking good. So until next time guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and until next time, I will see you soon.